Okay, so today we're going to look at the solutions for the study guide. Number one, start off with question number one. The length of a rectangle is four yards more than twice the width. The area is 240 square yards. Find the width X of this rectangle. So I have a rectangle. Okay, my width is X, my length is four plus twice the width. And my formula for area of a rectangle is length times width. So now I have two X plus four, which is the length times X equals the area, which is 240. And this is two x squared plus 4x equals 240. Bring the 240 over. 2x squared plus 4x minus 240 equals 0. I would go ahead and divide through by x, or not x, 2 to get x squared plus 2x minus 120 equals 0. So now looking at 120, my factors are 10 and 12. Seeing as how this is negative, one of them has to be negative, and this is positive, so the larger one has to be positive. So it's x plus 12, x minus 10 equals 0. x minus 10 equals 0, or x minus 12 equals 0. So x equals 10, that's x plus 12, sorry. Or x equals negative 12. Well, that is not possible. So x equals 10. So if x equals 10, 4 plus 2x would be 24. 24 times 10 equals 240. So this is our answer. Okay. Move to the next one. We have 3x over x plus 2 minus 4 over x plus 5 equals 2x squared plus 17x over x squared plus 7x plus 10. Looking at this, we're going to want to factor this. And it factors to x plus 2, x plus 5. And now that is my least common denominator, x plus 2 and x plus 5. So we'll want to multiply both sides by it. Okay, x plus 2, x plus 5. So here the x plus 2 and the x plus 2 cancel out, and I have 3x times x plus 5. Here, the x plus 5 cancels out, and I have minus 4 minus times x plus 2. Here, they all cancel out, so I get 2x squared plus 17x. Okay, distributing, I have 3x squared plus 5x minus 4x minus 8 equals 2x squared plus 17x. Go ahead and move everything over and combine our like terms. Here I have 3x minus, or 3x squared minus 2x squared gives me simply x squared. Here I have 5 minus 4x, which is 1x. Then I'm going to subtract 17x, so I get minus 16x. And here I have minus 8 equals 0. I don't see any way for that to factor, so quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared plus 4ac over 2a. So looking at this, we have x equals the negative of negative 16 plus or minus negative 16 squared. That's not plus 4ac, that's minus 4ac. Minus 4 times 1 times negative 8. 
all over 2 times 1. So here I have 16 plus or minus the square root of 16 squared. Which is 256 plus 32 over 2. I have 256 plus 32 gives me 288, which is not a perfect square. I can factor out. So I have equals 16 plus or minus 2 times the square root 17. Well, Ah, this will be four times the square root. Let's see, this works out to be I'll come back over here. I have 16 plus or minus 12 is the square root of 2 all over 2. Because this is 288, which is 2 times 144. So I have 8 plus or minus six times the square root of two. Not a measurement, so we don't have to worry about positive and negative. Okay, next up we have absolute value. First thing we need to do is get this three over here. So subtracting three, I have absolute value of x plus seven is less than or equal to five. And since we have less than, it's negative five. Less than or equal to x plus 7. I don't need the absolute value anymore. It's less than or equal to 5. Subtracting 7 from both sides, I get negative 12. Less than or equal to x. Less than or equal to negative 2. Write interval notation for the solution set. Then graph the solution set. I say graph it first. So this is saying... X is greater than or equal to negative 12. And it's saying X is less than negative 2. Less than or equal to negative 2. So the intersection is the middle section. This here. And both negative 2 and 12 are included, so we use the brackets. So our interval notation is a bracket. Negative 12. Negative 2. Bracket. Okay, next up is simply solve the equation. So first we distribute. We have 3y minus 6 minus 4 equals 4y plus 8 minus 5. Combine our like terms. I have 3y minus 10. Here I have 4y plus 3. I'm going to subtract the 3 and get negative 13 over here and subtract the 3y and get y over here. y equals negative 13. Remember, if you have the time, check your answers. Okay, so we have our 4% solution, which is equivalent to 0 0.04. So how much 4% solution... X should be mixed with 200 milliliters of 12% solution. Again, this is equivalent to 0 0.12 to make a 9% solution. 
Okay, so if I add x to 200, I have 200 plus x milliliters of 9% solution. Now, the way to solve this, simply multiply the percentage by the amount you have. 0.04x, and we're adding 0.12 times 200, and it should give us 0 0.09 times 200 plus x. Oops. So 0.04x, this becomes plus 24 equals 18 plus 0.09x. Go ahead and subtract, I get 0.05x, subtract the 18 equals six, that's a zero. Divide by 0 0.05 and we get 120 equals X. So 120 milliliters. Okay, next up, solve the equation. First thing I do is get rid of this by dividing both sides by five. So I have two X squared minus 10 X equals four. I can divide it by two and get x squared minus five x equals two. Subtract the two, I have x squared minus five x minus two equals zero. Now quadratic formula, x equals negative b, so the negative of negative five plus or minus the square root of negative five squared minus four times a, which is one times c, which is negative two, all over two times a, which is still one. So I have five plus or minus the square root of 25 plus eight over two, which is five plus or minus the square root of 33 over two, which cannot be reduced any further. And since this is simply a work the problem, we're not needing to fill it into in the real world. Speaking of which, real world. On moving day, George needs to rent a truck. The length of the cargo hold the length of this cargo space is 16 feet. The height is one less than the width, though. So we let the width be W, the height is W minus one. The rental company says the cargo volume is 1,760 cubic feet. What are the dimensions of the cargo space? We will assume that it is the form of a rectangular solid. So volume of a rectangular solid is length times width times height. We have all this, our volume 1,760 is equal to 16 times W times W minus 1. Okay, well, I think I can divide, divide both sides by 16 here. Let's check it out. 1760 divided by 16, and yep, that's correct. And 110 is equal to W times W, W squared, and W times negative one minus W. So here I can move my 110 over and I have W squared minus W minus 110 equals zero. So factoring this, this is negative. So one of them's positive, one of them's negative. This is negative. So the larger one is negative. We're looking at 11 and 10. So x plus 10 equals 0, or x minus 11 equals 0. x equals 11, or x equals negative 10. Well, we can't have negative 10. So w is 11, which makes w minus 1, 10. So my cargo hold is 16 feet by 11 feet by 10 feet. 
Okay. Moving along. So we can turn this into x minus 4 to the 1 fourth to the third, right? 1 fourth times 3 gives me 3 fourths equals 27. Then I can take the cube root of both sides, which here gives me x minus 4 to the 1 fourth, and the cube root of 27 is 3. Then I can take both sides to the fourth power. I get x minus 4 equals 81. Add 4 to both sides, I get x equals 85. Very similar to the one we did on the board. Okay, here we have an or statement. An or statement means the union of the two solutions. And it also doesn't tell us what form to put the solution in. So let's solve this. Looking at the first one here, all I have to do is multiply by two. Y is less than negative four, four. Here I need to subtract five, so I have two Y or then are equal to six divided by three, y is greater than or equal to three. So it doesn't specify. So that's sufficient. We could graph it as well if we wanted to. Negative four, there's a zero in here and a three. We're saying less than negative four, so parentheses, or greater than or equal to three, so bracket, if you want to do interval notation, we're going negative infinity to negative four. Union, since it's or, three, which is included to infinity. So there's three, well, actually there's the fourth one, which is fat builder notation. But as I said, typically we don't ask for that. And then I thought I'd give you one to make it nice and easy for you. Simple equation. So here we're going to subtract one and get 3x equals 6. x equals 2. That is it. So as I said in class, if you can do this without an issue, you should not have a problem on the exam. So good luck.